Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Borderlands. This is Latican 014. In the last part, we uh, finished off a couple errands over in the other corner, but let's get right into it. So, let's enter Scorch Snake Canyon. Um, this area is quite expansive. Um, if you want to explore everything, you can, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try to avoid as much as possible. In the meantime, let me show you the map of this place. Uh, as you can see, these this bottom half section, because uh, we're going to be turning <clears throat> to our left, and go up through here and head towards the warehouse, but this bottom section down here actually serves no point at all, and we never actually get directed to there, so uh, I was thinking there are probably some quests that um, were supposed to be in the game, but are not actually in there, so let's uh, get rid of these guys. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with Skag as we get through. <laughs> there we go, get a, uh, another challenge completed. I hate dogs. <clears throat> this should get quite a few of them. Nope, never mind. I forgot I did not spec back into uh, the Bloodwing thing too much. But, uh, nice little fact for everybody. You may not know, uh, guess whose birthday it is today? Uh, currently February 6th, um, <clears throat> 2012. Um, you guys may know him. Uh, he, he's uh, kind of big a while back, and uh, people like to play pranks with his song, so... If you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> then uh, awesome. But if you don't know, well, it doesn't matter too much. But yeah, it's his birthday today, which is pretty cool. Um, that song, um, I actually enjoy that song, so unlike uh, most people, I don't really get pissed when I hear it. <clears throat> there we go. Let's uh, continue on. Yeah, that was just a random fact for today. But yeah, over here, we've got a lot of spider ants to deal with, and uh, hopefully... We don't have to encounter too many corrosive ones, because uh, this is how I'm going to be taking care of a majority of these guys with uh, the Pestilent Defiler. So you can see uh, one direct hit to their front <clears throat> uh, faceplate actually uh, kind of staggers them, and they end up uh, turning around, which makes them a very easy target. So let's continue on. Oh, man. This is, uh, this is spider ant hell down here. And not only that, because this is our first time getting through this area, we also have to deal with another special guest, but uh, we'll worry about him later. In the meantime, we got some rack to deal with, so let's shoot them down before they uh, cause us too much grief. And uh, these guys kind of give away who's actually here. Because <clears throat> why else would there be rack around, right? <laughs> so uh, let's kind of lead our shots and hopefully take them out before too much damage. Took out her, managed to take out her shield, which is kind of a pain. As you can see, the knockback effect is amazing on this weapon. You saw that thing fly after I shot it. Oh man, I love um, I love Jacob's weapons for that uh, main reason. If I haven't mentioned before, it's because they have the uh, X X prefix. So you can see the two uh, the double X's from the Savage Unforgiven. That gives it the uh, incredible knockback effect. If I remember correctly from um, everything. So as you can see down there. Yeah, that is um, <clears throat> a hibernating rack, but not for long, since uh, once we reach down there, we're going to have to deal with him. But, um, of course, as always, we can just avoid him, because I don't think the fight is necessary right now. But eventually, we will have to come back and deal with him. In the meantime, we can just uh, travel and uh, continue on with our objectives. You can see I'm uh, spraying massive amounts of bullets at Super Bad, and it's not really doing much, because... You know, you can't really do much to the front side of uh, these spider ants. Quite cool though, uh, <laughs> the fire one does a giant explosion, but once you do enough damage, uh, I don't know what the limit is, but once they take enough from the front, uh, they actually get a little dazed and start uh, twirling around, and that gives you an easy target. So that's for a soldier, not necessary uh, for us, so I'm going to continue going on. So, right over here. <clears throat> I think there's another set of uh, spider ants just around this corner, but uh, there we go. This is the one I really care about. The shock ones getting rid of our shields. So see, uh, I'm not doing too much, but as long as I can daze it, I can get the back hits, which is more important than uh, the other guys I'm having to deal with. <laughs> and um, yeah, they like to do this. Uh, at least especially over here, because I don't know why, but they like to uh, spawn these guys more often than anything else. Hopefully I can daze it quick enough before it gets too close to me. Okay. Not how I wanted it, but... You know, we 
got through. Now we gotta deal with uh, spider ants. Yeah, I'm just gonna spam bullets because I really don't like uh, dealing with them. So there we go. We're almost dead, but uh, somehow we made it out alive. So let's continue on. Uh, this is probably the most difficult part. There isn't uh, much else located around here that I'm really concerned about. Uh, right up over here on these hills, there's some more skag to deal with, but, you know, skag are easy enough. And even the elemental ones, you can easily avoid those. <clears throat> the spider wings are just the annoying ones since they don't take uh, any real damage until they turn around. So right up here, we got a shock one. <clears throat> of course, we could just spam him with the pestilent defiler and get rid of him uh, before we even head up there and trigger the rest of them. So there we go. One down, and uh, more spawning. Yeah, they're gonna continue spawning. Yeah, Sputton, Sputton prefix means uh, they are also corrosive elements here. So that means <clears throat> Pestilent Defiler's not gonna be too effective against them, but uh, we can still just kind of spam them. Alright, so let's continue on. Uh, I don't think this one's dead just yet. Okay, it's just hiding in the middle of the bodies. Get his attention. Or, uh, more spider ants located around here. Not difficult. <clears throat> these are the smaller ones. Even that one, if you can uh, kind of trail the, your shots up as he's jumping at you, it should be quite easy to uh, <clears throat> eliminate. So yeah, the, the spider ant stuff really annoying. I'm just going to kind of avoid most of them. I'm just going to run through this area. Because obviously I don't need the experience. So yeah, this is pretty much all we have left to do over here. Um, I would like to do... Did we turn in the other Marcus quests? Ah, yes, we did. And, um, <clears throat> turned it in, but he didn't give us the next one, which means we're going to have to re-travel back over in this area. Um, I guess they want you to, uh, kind of, uh, backtrack through places. It's a little bit annoying, but there's not much I can do about it. Uh, as you can see, uh, what I'm doing is kind of uh, leaving little presents for these guys that are chasing after me. It does quite a bit of uh, damage. It's good enough. See, I'm getting experience as uh, they run into the grenades I leave. <clears throat> so I should kill most of them. Uh, got a huge trail of things coming, so just kind of hold the trigger and point in the general direction. You should be able to eliminate most of them. Yeah, I just kind of want to eliminate whatever's following me currently, just so... Uh, it's a little easier to travel through this area because uh, we have finally reached the factory. Now, uh, don't be too has um, <clears throat> too uh, quick to jump the gun and just rush in here. We got uh, Gatling turrets in the distance, so uh, you kind of want to take these guys out before you uh, actually do much of anything else. There's one turret down, and the last one okay, just around here. We can. There we go. Got it before it even uh, shot at me, so which is good. They also have these barricades if you want to try to get closer, but uh, really not too necessary. Uh, that was horrible damage. So there we go, we got some parts. You see a bobblehead down there. Those are uh, special collecting items, but we don't have to worry about them really. Yeah, the ones I'm concerned about are the ones that actually can shoot. The rest of them are going to just rush at us. It's easy enough to take out. There he goes, he's down. This guy's shooting at me. I'm surprised he didn't die by the acid, but it was kind of slowly eating away at his health. So there we go, we're almost done with this area. Ah, another one shooting. Okay, so we cleared out the left side. I believe there are some that uh, sometimes spawn in here, I'm not sure. But it's always good to just check. So yeah, I pointed out the rack hive we're going to deal with uh, later. But uh, we also get to meet up an old friend over here, also. Well, even your mightiest warriors crumble at the feet of the Claptrap Revolution. Yes, I know we don't technically have feet, but that's really besides the point. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, Claptrap. So let's hit this checkpoint, so that means that if we do die, we can come back. But yeah, there's a minor boss fight located down here. Um, easy enough taken out. We'll just enter right in. The key works. Soldier, get your team ready to go inside where I finish off. Wait, where am I? What happened to the vault? Why is this hole here? So there we go. Steel trap. Commandant Steel uh, converted into a clap trap. But yeah, she's just like the rest of her uh, 
Sanji is uh, one of these assassin types, if you remember from the uh, Nox DLC. But look how easy she is to take out. You, as soon as you hit her, she starts uh, staggering and can't really do much. If you can get headshots, that's especially good. Because there she goes, she's down. And, uh, well, she really doesn't have any help here. She's just alone. And that makes it quite a bit easy, but yeah. <clears throat> Comment at steel for you. Uh, because of the whole inner body, like her player model is not, um, not that great. I somehow hurt myself. It's amazing. But yeah, her player model uh, kind of moves around quite a bit. If you can uh, hit at the right spots, but looks like she finally settled. Yeah, that hole's there from uh, when she got pierced uh, <clears throat> through the gut by that tentacle from the destroyer. But uh, there we go, we get a little cutscene after uh, we open up this gate. It's not really a cutscene, it's uh, more of Claptrap uh, using the Echo communication system to contact us yet again. So, let's enter right in. So this is the uh, wired device. Looks like a little TV on a stick. I'm not exactly sure what uh, made them decide this is what they wanted, but there we go. A handheld wireless information router encoding device. So. The W from wireless information I yeah it spells out wired. Let's see what <clears throat> he's got to say about this. They got the wired device. Too bad there are no plugs here. What? What do you mean it's wireless? Of all the stupid, no matter. Let the oppressors come. Wait till they get a load of me. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, uh, the line, wait till they get a load of me, comes from a movie of some sort. I'm not exactly sure from where. I just know of, uh, I remember reading about it. Oh, there's the trouble one. Oh, wow. Knockback is quite effective against them. Never mind. <laughs> Look at that one fly. Yeah, let's keep using this gun. This, this is fun. <clears throat> He's level 68, dying by one hit. Alright, so let's continue on. Uh, yeah, we got some that spawn back here. Let's not worry about them too much. As soon as they turn around, they are uh, dead meat. And if they don't, they, uh, you know, show their back and uh, they're gone. So, uh, well, let's uh, take the shortcut out of here. Um, first thing you might want to do is throw a couple grenades in there because, uh, yeah, those things spawn and you can get quite a few kills if you can do it just right. See if, uh... Nope, not much. Well, I guess those are contact grenades. I wasn't exactly sure uh, what I had equipped. I don't use the grenades uh, too often in this game. So there we go. Yeah, we don't... I, we don't need to fight these. Let's, uh, actually just go. We don't need to waste any more time here. So as we travel up through here, uh, I don't know if Claptrap uh, contacts us yet again. I think somebody does, but I'm not exactly sure. But just to be careful, um, when you head up here, what you... where is this? I think it's up to this platform. I think the rack uh, respawn once again. And also we have to deal with uh, more of these Claptrap Rebels. So dropped an orange, not bad. And not decent, not decent enough to pick up. And I don't use assault rifle, so there's another thing why I wouldn't use it. Oops, I headed up the wrong direction. We get out of this uh, this pathway. I don't. I'm not sure if the rack um, respawn yet. Maybe I've actually cleared them all out already. Don't have to worry about it. So if I could just position this just right, I can launch these guys. <laughs> there we go. That's what I wanted. There you go. See you later. Oop, can I hit him? Oh, that went way farther than I thought. Oh well, let's uh, continue. Yeah, I guess the rack don't uh, respawn just yet, because I just killed them all. Let's see uh, another reuse structure over there. So, as we travel along these long pathways, uh, there's actually going to be quite a few of uh, these clap traps located in the middle. So just kind of uh, clear them out if you can see them. There's usually about three or four. So yeah, let's continue collecting parts as we go through. This is dead body. All right, so the next long pathway. What is the next one? These guys, the Mega Samurais. Holy crap! He's gone. He's out of here. <laughs> Where's he going? Man. 
Ooh, he blew up. Alright, so, yeah, the Mega Samurais. I think the next ones are either going to be um, Divine Winds, or they are going to be the ones with the punching uh, gloves. So let's head down here. That's the next path. Um, if you want, you can actually uh, travel, uh, jump down from that point, and kind of bug your way over. There is a red chest located at that uh, tunnel area, but it's not too uh, useful, and means you're going to have to retravel all the way back up, which is not ideal. Holy crap, these things go flying when I shoot them. Holy crap. Oh, Mega Samurais. Yeah, a little too close, so they explode instantly. <laughs> but yeah, I do get a little bit of a sick enjoyment out of launching these little things. So, there's another one. He's gone. Alright, so. But we don't need ammo. So next ones. I think the divine ones are here. Let's we'll shoot the middle, just kind of test the waters. Alright. And we've reached the end of this uh, platform area. That is the uh, last tier. Now right over here is actually uh, the next part. And we are back to the beginning of where we entered into the snake uh, canyon. What was, what was this place called? Oh, that's Tatarder Station. That's not what I wanted. But yeah, um, you, I would recommend if you're going to be playing this game for any length of time and you want to retravel, that you actually head this path so you can open up the shortcut. Uh, that way you can avoid uh, going through the canyon yet again. So yeah, here we go. We're back down here. This is just another little staircase uh, right next to the entrance, which makes it easy for you to um, uh, kind of travel back to the factory. Now, before I forget, let's actually head right up here. Because there is actually a red chest located in the back corner that uh, I might as well show off since we are in the area. So yeah, I kind of like to <clears throat> jump off right over here and uh, see if I can sprint jump make it. Nope, I fell short. Oh well. But yeah, there's a red chest right up there and um, you know you can try to score something nice if you really care for it. But uh, I think that does it for this part. Let's head in and let's talk to Blake. I think this is where we have to turn in the next part. All right, so let's uh, travel through the railroad tracks. Don't worry, we are not going to be run uh, run over by a train anytime soon. So yeah, Tartar Station, nice satellite up there. I think that's constant. Yeah, that's constantly rotating. Um, another neat little thing is that you can actually make your way down there, and there's like a series of uh, jumping platforms, and if you can make it up top. You can uh, score. I think there's a red chest right up there or uh, behind that thing. But <clears throat> I don't find it worth the effort, but I've done it a couple times just to, you know, be able to say that I've done it. Yeah, but the rewards are not worth it. I mean, one, what was it, one white or red chest, I'm not exactly sure. If it's white, it's definitely not worth your time. But it's just a neat little thing you can do. So let's uh, talk to Blake and get the next part of the quest. Why? Why did I decide to wear wool in the desert? <laughs> Alright, you got the wire device, and it and all it cost you was a little sweat and a whole lot of bullets. Now it's time for a robotic regime change. Alright. So Operation most Trap Clap Trap most Trap. Final phase phase 4 Reboot. Trap, clap, trap, tap, trap. The most finalist phase Operation of all. Trap, Fight your way trap, through the trap, wayward pass and get close enough to the original ninja assassin clap trap to use the, the wired device. But be careful, device. no one ever now, said squashing on an army of murderous robots was going to be easy. Ninja assassin. And he's uh, pretty much damn right about that. Also, we have, an, I believe, the next quest for Marcus is finally opened up. Like there we go, Old Spicy. A um, little bit of a pun on the Old Spice thing. <clears throat> Marcus knows what women like. Musky odor. Go to Scorch Snake Canyon and find him five skag musk glands and some rack hive ambergus so he can brew up a truly potent cologne. And yeah, not, <clears throat> not something I really care for, but, you know, it's another quest. Let's just do it. So, alright, looks like the next quests are uh, open. I think this is the uh, next part of it. Okay, not my fault. There we go. Kill five default bandits and their leader, Default. The vicious Default and his gang have been harassing tour buses in the Dividing Faults. Hyperia needs them to be, or needs them taken out to keep that tourish cash coming in. So yeah, so we can make our way back over there <clears throat> some other time. So, um, I'll end off the episode here. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Borderlands.
in the next part, I'm trying, I I'm, think I'm going to actually head into the cave, right? Do we, do we have the, uh, where is it? Finger licking bad, old spicy, uh, rack hive ambergus. Okay, we're going to finish off uh, Old Spicy, and uh, not my fault, Depend it just depends on what I decide to do that day, but uh, I'll do either one of those, and um, if I turn in Old Spicy and Marcus has his next quest, then we are definitely heading back into the cave, because uh, we got to collect, um, I believe it was five plant, uh, plant items, and like, um, you know, along the way we're going to be killing the Collect Trap anyway, so that'll be nice to see. So, thank you guys, and I will see you all later.